back. <laughs> Welcome back to game number two. EG going up against Fnatic. I am very lucky because I'm here with the Dane that could actually predict. Interesting to see the fact that you're talking about this combo that you get from from EG, where you have oh, like Mushi. the two zone. Yeah, they're going Amushi again. But Nets got defensive disruption if they want it, but instead they go aggressive. Last record Ray will connect on PPD. And then inflict some decent damage on him and just force him back off the lane once the mail puts on the flame gun. Muchi, he's burning out. In fact, he'll die here. So mail will take the first blood. Ned's looking for the revenge with the attack from the tower. He's gonna have enough. So it's a one for one trade off. Samel does take first blood, but gives away his life for the for for the blood. Bepper, you perch flame guard, and when you're perch throwing out the fire remnants, they move at the minimum move speed. Uh, so Ned getting a fast level six. Could, could be very uh, important. They're going here. on to Mushi, last oh, right to that's a big loss. He's way too early. PPD's around the corner as well. And Mushi, he's trying to stand his ground here. He knows he's dead. And they might actually be losing net as well. EG, this is the dream right now. So Mel can pick up two kills. And in fact, the last one goes to the win to Wyvern. A little bit of extra cash coming in there for PPD. Very clear favorite in team fights, but they have the tools they need this time around, and a lot of it for me comes back to the tight hunter, uh, having the anchor smash that the panel talked about. That's stealing. Where's the, t where's the TP support going to come in? Fear is up here as well. They'll drop down the tombstone in Ohio. Just going to sharp block it in. So Artizi forced to stand here. They get rid of the tombstone nice and quickly. As Fear and he got Walrus punched up. And he'll lose his life, but if they don't lose Arteezy, it's fine. But Universe, he's going up, he's got Ravage available. DJ Mushi, they're trying to get back out of here. The Tuscar Snowball will come through, tagging up three. Ohio sacrifices himself, understanding that uh, rotation was just too much to deal with. Arteezy gets the last hit, maximum soul snap for his level three Necromastery. That's not the dream. Maybe Ohio and Mushi can find that, however, because Fear and Universe are rotating up. So on bottom lane, they got the opportunity to get a good line strike array. And in fact, they just focus on Fear. The Ravage will go off, but Undying is already down for the count. And Mushi, he didn't actually have to use his, lines, his, uh, his Laguna Blade. So that burst damage is still available. They're rotating more heroes down, but RTZ is arriving. Mushi getting gushed up. They need to control him, and the SD doing that, but it means the last record array won't be able to connect in Ohio. Cops one raise. There's still that max range one as well. And this snowball, it only for a long was the inevitable. Ohio will end up going down, and Universe picks Radiant up a double kill in this lane. Communication between Net and Mushi doesn't seem to be... Doesn't, no, he doesn't. But in fact, yeah, you're right. Attack. Fnatic will be giving up this bottom tier 1 tower. They get a little Dyer's bit of damage into the tier 1 tower in mid, and a little bit of damage onto the, onto the tier 1 on top. But then with the searing chains, DJ, he can't get himself away from this one. Black was too close, so the tether doesn't drag him away. Nah, this is a second tower loss. Oh. Yeah, both Lena and SD would just, uh, even if the Requiem doesn't kill him, a quick raise after Dyer's that will do the work. And here comes Arteezy. Wind her up and let it go. Mushi, yeah, losing half of his life from the Requiem and then a double, I'll leave it a double, just a one raise. And the attacks from Arteezy, they just hit so hard into net. Tusker is forced to snowball himself in. They actually lock up Arteezy. They don't have enough damage. The poison's ticking away, but now the spirits jump forward from Smell. Net's only keeping himself out. So Ohio's got no grounds to keep the initiation going. He has to back making the mistakes this game. Well, can they win the split push game then? Like you look towards the Wisp relocate with yes. a, with an Agonist Tani, you you take out the tier one towns. Is that gonna be uh, enough? Samel. Yeah, this could be a big one. Samal Lacuna Blade. That's a quick pick. The relocate came in <laughs> from DJ and Black. But this one actually put them in more trouble because Artizi on bottom lane. He's gonna wind up the Requiem. No, he's waiting for them all as the relocate. It's only gonna be DJ now, Artizi. Boom! Okay, Ethereal Bean, be no more. <laughs> that was really good timing from Artizi on that. <laughs> and of course, keep Black, the tiny, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. As long as you can keep him farming and moving from these positions, then you're good. But these observer wars that we we're talking about before oh, being planted makes it so they instantly see Black. TJ's trying to relocate him back out again, but Universe understands this. So Black, okay, the curse has to be used to save him. DJ will end up dying as Black does some damage, but he knows he's down. Arteezy with the raise will finish the job. And Very good read from Universe. He knew the relocate attempt was going to be... And of course the Ring of Aquila, which is standard nowadays. But I think it's a great choice this game. It works for him. And after the upsetting game one, they kind of need they they need stability more than oh, anything else. And Arteezy, yep, that's a deep toss. And Arteezy, BKB wind up the Walrus bunch will cancel the ulti. They have enough damage. <laughs> okay, with the snowball and protection, they may have enough. But the snowball went over to Samel. It didn't go over towards Arteezy, but they might pick up both. In fact, Fnatic will do so. Mushi doing his work. Taking Universe out of this fight, we haven't seen the Meg or the Ravage do anything. In fact, Black is still standing in the front ground. Ohio blinks for Universe. Now he goes to the Meg. The Solar brings his life back up again, and they're going to cold embrace Universe up. 
the high, a little bit too close off that snowball, but Fnatic, two huge kills. Both Samael and okay, so... Fnatic have actually been really unlucky with their D warning. Black, I, uh, they're gonna try for him. Yep. And they got him. Like, unless this relocate save kicks in and Black, well, it needs to come for DJ. He's just gonna TP out. He doesn't actually have relocate. It's still on what? cooldown. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. He was sitting there that aggressive without relocate off cooldown. I think he bad all the evasion. You can just get this quick pop. With a Daedalus, it's almost a 1 2 hit to kill off the uh, Wisp. Bottom lane, Samal. Jumping onto that Lena. Defensive yield center from Mushi. Gonna trick these space boost. Still no BKB. And with a curse and the Ravage and the Spirits forward, Fnatic are gonna lose big here. Oh, he denied Mushi. What? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> Wait, oh, it's a bug, right? He was Winter's Cursed? I believe so. Yeah, that, that bug still exists. Like, PPD is supposed to get credit for that kill. Um, the way the game developed over the last four minutes, I feel like doesn't allow him to get the Manson now. He has to get that big item. It's not unnatural for a uh, for time to go casually, Yasha. No, absolutely not. It's, it's a good item. Oh, here we go, EG. Here we go again. So EG forcing at the bottom lane. This time, Ravage is up. And Mushi's a long way forward, Arteezy just stands there, and now he looks for the Darius damage into Mushi. Blinks himself forward, the BKB will not protect Mushi. However, Destruction Catcher from Net keeps Arteezy out of the action for now. And with the Purge as well, Arteezy gonna be careful. He'll get Mech, he'll get Soul Rip, Black moves forward, toss the Babel. He wants to pull Arteezy back, but now you see the damage. The BKB protects Black. Arteezy wants to jump forward, he actually gets Crag lead up, and now gets tossed and killed. There is the Aegis Demoto, which will give him a second life, and Samal moving forward, trying to control up Mushi, but Ohio with a Walrus Pump. There's still no Ravage, we have to keep this in mind. Arteezy doesn't hit anything with the Requiem, apart from a little bit of a chip on net in the sideline. The Snowball protecting Ohio, and he moves forward, but he does not want to go into this. Black getting cursed up, Fnatic are losing too many players too quickly, and Samael, they can just do the work. Black will get a little bit of revenge, but even the double kill, like it's allowing for some buybacks to arrive, and Mushi, he tries to look good and played into Arteezy, who was cold and braced up. The Death Requiem will pop, and in fact now, it's Fnatic with the expensive buybacks. They are pushing EG away. They go after Samael, and there's no shield. Samael will drop as well. The bottom racks remains alive, and EG, they just, even though the buybacks were there from Fnatic, EG just gave so much back to them. That will take another bad team fight, then we're talking. But yep. until that point, though, they'll wait EG's for the next game. Aegis, I think. There's there's no reason to, to commit to this push. Oh, okay, PPD getting a little bit green toward here. Easy pick for Ohio. It's a little bit, but it's out. They'll need to relocate, and DJ has it ready, so, uh... Okay, they find an easier target. They find PPD. Arteezy is not so easy, with that Lincoln Spear up and running, and now, in fact, Net, they get the purse. They would actually require the relocate support, and Arteezy blinks himself forward, trying to beat into Net. That damage output is pretty damn high. Four hits to kill off Net. Blank is able to finish up his Assault Curus. They want to push with their Assault Curus, with already RTD having the extra Demon Edge. Uh, Universe getting very aggressive looking Diamond forward, but he can. He's got Shiva's Gun, and Mech, and Force Staff, and Ravage. Like, you want confidence as a Tidehunter? That's basically it right there. Net's trying to keep them back out with Poison Spam, but Arteezy, the Snowball, the Relocate's coming back in again. Can they kill Artur off in time? But the Ravage hits so hard with the Wrecking of Souls. Mushy just evaporates. There's no buyback available for him, and they can just stand their ground here. EG beat into him. Black's BKB does not protect him enough. He's teaming. Peeing out so close because he realized the relocate wouldn't actually save him. He was a mech, he could have been tethered up. He'll end up dying, and that should be the game right there. Fnatic have lost their three cores. There's no real split push working for them. The bottom ranks will go, the mid ranks already left them before, and the top is all that remains for EG. They don't even need to go there. Yeah, they're just going straight for the GG push. That's it. Fnatic. There's just nothing more they can do, and they call the GG. It will be a game three for our first series here in the mainstream, EG versus Fnatic. And EG, they played it very calm, they played it very defensive, but they played it secure. They were confident enough to give Fnatic their best duo in IO Tiny, and they just found the, the, the great counters they needed for it. I think, once again, it for me, a lot of it comes back to the Tight Hunter, where you didn't see many great rounds.